ESPN is mourning the loss of one of its own. Anchor John Saunders died suddenly at the age of 61. Mitch Album was a frequent guest on Saunders' show, The Sports Reporters. Mitch is here with us uh, from downtown right now. First of all, Mitch, sorry for your loss. How did you hear the news today? Got a phone call from the producer, and he said, I've got some terrible news. John Saunders died. And if you had asked me a million times, what do you think the terrible news is, I never would have guessed that. I just did the show a couple weeks ago, and uh, I still don't know yet what, what it was that actually killed him. Yeah, John is a lively guy. I mean, I've seen the show and I've seen you on that show. What do you remember most about those appearances with John? He was the absolute best of us. He was a star anchor without a star ego. He was a former athlete himself, a hockey player, you know, a Canadian. He was always battling to get hockey into the show. He had a great sense of humor. Uh, people forget that Dick Schaap started the sports reporters, but actually John Saunders took over for Dick when he died, and John's been doing it for 15 years, actually longer than Dick Schaap did it. So he's really synonymous with that program. He told me that that was the most fun he had broadcasting, although he hosted everything from uh, Sports Center to Prime Time to NHL to NBA. But we enjoyed him on Sunday mornings in the middle of our conversation. He was just a one-of-a-kind great guy. Now, you mentioned uh, he loved hockey, played hockey. I didn't realize until I was looking at some information on him today that John Saunders was a hockey player at Western Michigan. These past yeah. three decades, the people have been watching and getting to know John. What do you think they don't know about him that you can pass along to us? First of all, he's an incredible family man, hugely dedicated to his daughters. And he's an, a very opinionated guy. Uh, you notice I can't even say was. I, I'm, I'm still in a little shock about that. Uh, you know, he sat amongst a lot of people with opinions and played referee and moderator. But to talk to John, he's extremely intelligent, had very strong points of view, particularly about uh, people who abused women. He was very strong about, about that because of his daughters. He also raised a ton of money, a ton of money for cancer research through the Jimmy V Foundation. He was one of the founders of that and would talk about it all the time. He was uh, an absolute doll of a guy who, uh, who constantly made hockey references to try to get some hockey into the program. And he and I, of course, would go back. We were the only ones on the show who knew any, how to pronounce any Russian names in hockey. So, uh, you know, we had a special friendship and he's been at my home and uh, he was going to come out and see the hockey play we did, and, and I just am, I'm just stunned. They're literally still in disbelief that he's gone. I'm doing the show this Sunday and uh, plan to be sitting next to him, and, and now I won't be. Mitch Albert, we thank you so very much for taking the time today to let us know a little bit more about John Saunders because, again, you, everybody's shocked at the sudden death at 61 years of age, John Saunders from ESPN. Mitch, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.